Hey, happy Sunday night. Um, I had, I had a day. I accomplished very little today. Every now and then, I just have a day where I just, I, it's almost like, it's almost like I fall apart a little bit. I don't really fall apart, but like, I just sleep. Like, I'll just sleep. I, I'll be honest with you. I took an obscenely long nap today. Obscenely long. I'm not even going to tell you how long it was. It was like basically going to bed <laughs> for the night. I took a really long nap. I have just been really tired. Every now and then, I just have to take a day and just kind of recharge. And that's kind of what I did today. I did go work out. And then I came home and I took a shower. And I basically just went to bed. <laughs> I just said, I just went to bed. I did accomplish something today, though. Well, two things. Three things. I went and worked out. And um, I went through all of my jewelry today. And I got rid of probably 20% of it, 20, 25%. Um, several people said, you should make a video of that. No, because... <sighs> I just, when you make videos, you get to where you can kind of predict how that's going to go, how people are going to take it. Sometimes you're wrong. Sometimes you're not. But I just, I when I think about making a video, I kind of play it, I sort of play it out in my mind. Like, okay, if you do this, what is that, what is that going to look like? What kind of comments are you going to get? And I just, when I thought of making a video of all the jewelry I was getting rid of, I said, uh-uh. First of all, I got rid of so much. That video would have been like eight hours long trying to show you everything I got rid of. And it's not that I didn't like the jewelry. It's all stuff that I like. I love it. It's beautiful stuff. But I just, I have way too much. I have way too much. So I got rid of probably 20 to 25% of it today. It was a lot. It was a hell of a lot. But I got to thinking, if I make a video showing all the stuff I'm getting rid of, First of all, I run the risk of somebody saying, hey, I gave you that. I sent you that. How can you get rid of that? It's a chance of that happening. Although, I don't think I got rid of anything that a subscriber gave me. As, as far as I know, it, was, it wasn't. It was all stuff that I had bought myself. Um, but I don't want to take a chance on that or somebody looking at it like, I think I, I think I gave her that. Didn't a subscriber give her that? She's such a bitch. She's getting rid of that. And I think, I think somebody gave her that. What a bitch. I could see that there would definitely be some of that. There would be, why are you getting rid of that? Oh my God, it's so pretty. You're so stupid. You're getting rid of all the good stuff. Look at the stuff you're keeping. That stuff sucks. You're getting rid of all the good stuff. There'd be some of that. There'd be, why do you have so much jewelry anyway? You, you, there's always that one MGTOW guy that's like, see, this is right here. This is why women suck. That's why I'm part of the He-Man Woman Haters Club. I am MGTOW all the way. You can tell how damn happy I am. They're always talking about how happy they are, but they look like they're ready to rip somebody's head off, literally, with their bare hands. I am so happy. I have never been happier in my life. Get these bitches out of my life. I'm so happy. <clears throat> And see, that's why you women are like this. This is why women are awful. Look at all that jewelry. She is such a stupid female. I can't stand females. There's always one of those. Why do you have so much stuff? And then there will be, you should sell that and donate it to the charity that I like and, and won't donate to myself, but I'm going to tell you, you should donate to it. You should totally do that. Why aren't you doing that? You're a piece of crap. You need to sell that and donate it to this cause that I like, but I'm not going to do anything for it. I'm just going to tell you to do it. Why didn't you do that? Why are you just giving it away? What charity are you? What, where are you taking it? Where are you taking it, huh? Oh, that charity is awful. You shouldn't give them anything. And I'm going to write 50 paragraphs to explain why. What charity did you send it to? I just, I packed it up. I just took it to the nearest Goodwill when they opened this afternoon. They're open one to six on Sundays. A lot of the other thrift, the local thrift shops are not open on Sundays. I just wanted to go ahead and get it out of here. I packed it up in these big bags. I had these big, thick Ziploc bags from the Goodwill jewelry bag stuff. I had saved a couple of those big bags, and I just filled them up. I filled up two giant... It was like two of the big jewelry bags. It was a lot. It was a lot. I got rid of bracelets, earrings, necklaces, you know, just whatever. I got rid of so much stuff, and it's great because the good thing about it, too... Making all that room in my... I have three full-size jewelry armoires that were 
totally slam full. I mean, like I could not, the one I'm looking at right now, I couldn't even get the doors that open out. I couldn't even get them to close because they were so full. And the weight of the, the necklaces hanging was messing up the doors. It was screwing up the hinges on the doors and it was warping the doors. It was so bad. And I, every time I come in here, I'd look at it and go, I got to do something about that. That's terrible. So actually, I can actually close them now and the doors don't creak like they're slowly dying uh, uh, anymore, which is nice. I, and the good thing is I, I discovered so many necklaces, especially that I couldn't see because there were so many hanging. You couldn't see the ones in the back. It's like, oh my God, I forgot about these. It was like Christmas. So, and all of, it's all stuff I liked and I'm going through it and I'm looking at it and I'm just imagining Matt Paxton from Hoarders is here with me or um, Dorothy Brenninger or uh, Dr. Green. I think, Mel, I think Dr. Green was really awesome and I'm just imagining they're here talking to me now, Mary. I know you love these. I, I hear you. I hear you. They're very pretty. They are very pretty, but Mary, you have too much. You know you have too much. You know you have to do this. You've been, you've been talking about it for weeks. You knew you had to do it. Now stay strong. You can do this. You can do this. I'm right here. Help you out. We get through this. And I just imagine the, the people from Hoarders talking to me like, you can do it. And I did. I would say those two bags together weighed probably 15 pounds. I bet they were at least seven or eight pounds per bag. And I had two big full, completely full bags. One of them I couldn't even close. So I had to just hand it to them open like here. So I just took it to Goodwill because they were open. I, you know, whatever. I don't know. Oh my God, she's giving it away. She should send it to me uh, and spend $50 on shipping to send that to me. Mm, no, honey, it's just gone. It's just gone. Somebody's going to hit the damn jackpot at, at Goodwill. They're going to hit the freaking jackpot with those, <laughs> those bags. Holy hell. Wow. So... Yeah, and I was going through my bracelets and I discovered that some of my stretchy bracelets, the elastic had degraded to the point that it had just come apart and there were just loose beads all over the bottom of the drawer. And I'm looking at them like, are you ever going to, and I imagine one of the hoarders people going, are you, are you ever going to, are you ever going to restring that? No, put it in the bag. Okay. And I did it. I did it. And it's so great because now I can open any of these jewelry armoires, the open, the doors that open out or the drawers. And I can actually look at stuff and I can actually, I can actually find stuff in there. I can actually see what's in there. It's wonderful. It's so wonderful. And I may get rid of some more later, but I'm, I would never make a video of it because the comments would drive me crazy. The comments would be insane. Why did you get rid of that? That is so pretty. Why were well, you're, you're keeping all the ugly stuff and getting rid of all the nice stuff? I wish I had that kind of jewelry. Why do you have so much? I don't have that much. You suck. I, you can't. You can't. You just can't make a video of it. You you can't. You can't. So I got to get a video done for my other channel. I haven't done it yet. I have rested all day except for that. Oh, and I and I did that. I made grilled cheese sandwiches. And I got, I went and got groceries and I did some laundry. So I, mean, I did, I did do some stuff today, but I slept for a seriously long time and it was wonderful. It was everything I hoped it would be. It's like from the movie Office Space. I did nothing. It was everything I ever hoped it would be. <laughs> it was fabulous. Because I'm back at it in the morning. I found out I got a bill in the mail from my kid's dentist. I always get these things on the weekend, so I have all weekend to stew over it. I got it yesterday, and apparently my, long story short, I'm self-insured, and my insurance, the insurance I had was very expensive and very shitty, and the dentist would submit bills over and over and over, and the, they would just ignore these claims and just wouldn't do anything with them. And they backed up for a period of like a year and a half. I really wish the dentist office had said something sooner. So maybe we could have done something. But they waited like a year to tell me that there was a problem. To the point where there were $1,600 worth of claims that were not paid by the, the by the insurance that should have been paid. They were all just like standard things that they were supposed to pay. And they didn't. So... Long story short, they submitted everything again, and again, the, the insurance just ignored it, and they're just not paying any of it. So now it's at the point, it's like, look, somebody's got to pay this. You're going to have to pay it, so I'm going to have to pay $1,630 like $1, that I was not expecting to have to pay, but they're saying, look, your insurance is not responding. Somebody's got to pay for this. 
So I'm going to have to pay for it or it's going to go to collections, which I don't want. So I no longer have that insurance, thank God. But I had a feeling. I thought, you know what? They're going to resubmit all these claims and they're just going to, they're just not going to pay them. They'll find some stupid reason for why they don't have to pay them. And apparently that's exactly what happened because they didn't pay one red cent of any of the claims. Not one cent. And it was all stuff they were supposed to pay for. I paid my portion of each visit. I paid my part. They didn't pay any of their part. Not one penny. So that is one of the main reasons why I no longer have this insurance because it's bullshit and I'm not dealing with them anymore. So anyway, I gotta, I gotta take care of that tomorrow. I have my day job I have to do tomorrow. Um, I have a big box of stuff to go to cosmetics for a cause. Most of it is from those Walmart beauty boxes. <laughs> like, I just went ahead and packed up a box to send them and they collect um, makeup and hygiene products and they distribute them to facilities all over the country that need, that need things like that or take things like that, like shelters and stuff. So I'm sending them that and I got to work and everything. So I'm, I'm going to get, I got to get on it. So I'm sorry, this is so short, but I've got to get a video done. I don't even know what I'm going to do. Honestly, I don't even feel like doing anything today. I'm not in the bathtub, by the way. I'm sitting on the edge of the bathtub because I'm tired and my, my foot hurts. I don't know if I have a bone spur, what the hell it is, but my foot hurts. I've been on it too much today and I'm sitting down because I'm tired. But uh, I think I'm just going to read some recipes. I found these. Uh, I love these things. These little paperback uh, recipe books that churches put out. They will ask the congregation to submit recipes. And they'll put together a recipe book. I love these little recipe books. I found three of them at Goodwill a few days ago. I might take one of those and just read some recipes because those are fun. You don't have to worry about copyright problems. They're not going to come after you for a, a copyright. Like these books are like 20 years old. So I'm they're from some little church and it's like nobody cares. I don't have to worry about copyright stuff. And those books are always fun to read. So little recipe. So I'm going to do that. I have to show you the little gnome I found at Goodwill yesterday. Look, it's my little Tom Clark gnome. I got, I paid 99 cents for my little gnome. You see, it looks like he's holding a shell. It's a, it's a laptop. See, <laughs> laptop. Isn't that cute? Look at the details of my little man. Boop tried to chew on his hat. I had to shoo her away from him. He's just adorable. Look at all that detail. He's sitting on a pumpkin. <laughs> He's adorable. I can't decide if I'm going to keep him or put him on eBay. I'll probably just put him on eBay. I do have another Tom Clark gnome that I found at Goodwill for $5. It's a lot bigger than this one. And it's dedicated to left-handed people. And it has all kinds of little left-handed... Uh, imagery stuff on it and has a little open book with the names of famous left-handers on it and a little piece of Tupperware because I guess it was invented by a left-hander. I don't know um, because I come from a whole family of left-handed people. I'm the only person in my, new, my immediate family who's not left-handed. My parents are both left-handed. My brother's left-handed. So I was the only one who wasn't. Uh, my younger son is left-handed and uh, so yeah, but this is not the left-hander. This is, he's got a little shell a little shell laptop for some for some reason. I don't know. He's really cute. I just thought I'd show you my little gnome. But yeah, I'm probably going to put him on eBay. There's a felt thing on the bottom. I don't have the certificate of authenticity or anything. I paid 99 cents for him. He is cute, but I don't, I don't need it. I don't know what the hell I'd do with it. I bought it because I thought he was cool. And I thought I might be able to sell him for some amount. So, yeah. I'm going to show you my little gnome. Okay, I'm going to go find a recipe book to read. Um, oh, somebody asked me a question yesterday, and it's a, it's a valid question, and it's one I ask myself. You know, they're like, they, the person said, if you're, if you're thinking that the world is going to end, like, you know, this, everything's going to collapse, why are you making arrangements to have siding put on your house? And I ask myself the same thing. Like, what am I doing? But here's the deal. My philosophy in life has always been hope for the best, plan for the worst. I don't like being caught flat-footed. I want to be prepared for what happens. And I don't like uncertainty. I really don't. Um, but the siding, the masonite on my house is literally crumbling and falling off. Some, I have to do something. Um, 
right now they're telling me that siding, there's about a six month turnaround on getting siding. They cannot get the materials that they need to make the siding. Their company manufactures the siding and they're having a really hard time obtaining the materials to make the siding to the point where they're telling people six, you know, if you order it today, it may be six months before we can have it out here. So I had to put a down payment on it. But if I'm still here in six months, I'm going to be really damn glad I did that because in six months, it may be a situation where you just can't get it at all. They may be saying, look, we're still dealing with people from six months ago. We're not even taking new orders. And he did say that they're not taking any new customers for siding because they're so backed up right now. They're not taking any new customers for siding because they just can't get the material. And he said other companies are starting to do the same. They're, they're telling customers, look, we just, you know... <laughs> We may not be able to do it. So if everything doesn't fall apart, I'm going to be really glad I made these arrangements now because in six months I may not be able to do anything at all. I don't know what I would do. I would just be shit out of luck and stuck with masonite that's literally crumbling off my house and all you see behind it is the Tyvek siding. Not cool. Um, and if everything falls apart, that siding is going to be a moot point. I'm not going to be worried about it anyway. I'll be out the deposit, I guess, but if everything falls apart, they're not going to be worried about my siding either. So it'll just be a moot point. So, you know, even during the Depression, you have to remember, even during the Depression, things had to get done. You know, people didn't just sit on their hands and wait for it to be over. You know, buildings still have to be built. Babies are still born. You know, Things, life goes on. Things still have to happen. Things still have to be taken care of. Even when things are bad, you, you have to, in some way or another, still carry on the best you can. And this is going to be no different. Now, again, like I say, if everything falls apart, I'm not going to be here. We're not going to be here, and it won't matter. If we are still here, which I hope we are, I hope everything turns out fine, no problem. If we're still here, I'm going to be really glad that I made these arrangements right now so I'll have at least a chance of getting the siding on my house taken care of. So I'll be in a better position. I've got the money for it um, set aside. So it's, you know, and, and I'm not going to need it until probably December anyway. But, you know, I, I know how much I have to pay them. I'm prepared to handle it. Um... You, you can't just throw up your hands and do nothing. You It's kind of like we're living sort of in the twilight zone right now, where it's like, yeah, everything feels weird, but it, I look around, and sometimes I look around, like I went to the grocery store today, and like, everything looks okay. I mean, you know, there's stuff here. You can buy things, and yeah, the prices have gone way up, but you can still get it. Well, in six months, it may not be that way. I don't know. Hope for the best, plan for the worst, do the best you can. So the reason I went ahead and made arrangements to have the siding put on is because it needs to be done. And if we're still here, it will still need to be done. It's not going to stop degrading because the world is falling apart. That masonite will continue to crumble regardless. So I hope that we're still here because that will mean things have not gone completely to shit. And that's what really matters to me. I don't want everything to go to shit. I really don't. Because I know there are millions of people out there who, who can't, who won't be able to really do anything. I realize that. I'm in a really good position that most people are not in, mainly because I've been aware of this for a while and I've had time to start preparing. And I grew up with someone who was kind of a prepper anyway who's been talking about the collapse of society since I was knee-high to a grasshopper. I've been hearing about it all my life, that society society's going to collapse, the government's not going to help you, you're going to have to take care of yourself. I've heard that all my life. I already had that mindset. Most people are blissfully ignorant. And when I say ignorant, I don't mean stupid. You're not stupid. You just don't know what you don't know. And you know a lot of things that are just not so. You know, You know a lot of things that are not true. You really do. And I hope, I hope that you can continue to be that way and be fine. That, but we've lived through a remarkable period of time that no other, that at no other time in the history of humans have they ever known. 
we have lived through a remarkable period of calm and cushiness and we're all fat and happy. We don't know any different. We think we've struggled, but if you were to talk to people who lived through just the depression, they would laugh at you if you said that. They would laugh in your face because it would be funny. You have no perspective. How did I get off on this? So, hope for the best, plan for the worst. Worst, but there's always hope. And I do have hope that maybe, maybe somehow it won't be as bad as I fear genuinely that it's going to be. I hope I'm wrong. I hope I'm wrong. But every day that passes, I feel a little bit more and more certain that I'm not. But yes, I went ahead and made, her, and made arrangements to have my siding put on. And I don't regret it. I don't regret it. Because shit still has to get done. Shit still has to happen. I will continue to pay into my retirement account. I put money away in my retirement account every month. I will continue to save money as I can. I will continue to pay my bills and, you know, I take care of my responsibilities like always. Even though I, I don't, I don't know where we're headed. Shit still has to get done. So that's what I will continue to do until such time as shit falls apart and that's not possible anymore. And then I will be living a totally different life as will a lot of other people. And I don't know what that's going to look like. I don't think I'll have the luxury of long naps anymore or playing with nail polish or anything else. I will be too busy trying to survive and not get dead. But we'll see. I don't mean to bring gloom and doom into it. Hey, look at the gnome again. Look at the gnome. <laughs> look at the happy little guy. Look at his little happy face. He ain't worried about shit. He's stoned off his ass. He's like, wee. He's a little shit eating grin. He's a handsome fella, isn't he? <laughs> nice beard. Okay. I, oh, he has little pointy ears. Look at him. These little ears. Okay. I'm going to go read recipes or something. Shit, I don't know what I'm doing. And uh, I hope you have a wonderful Sunday night. And I will see you again soon.